Guacamole. What's up, guys? I'm in this packed ass, this packed ass food burger right now. I just stuffed my face with some delicious, I guess, a walking food. You, you, you would call it. It's absolutely packed in here, man. We got a little smoke. Check it out. Look at that. We got all the meats up here. We got the beef. We got the chorizo. Got the guy fanning off his meat here. How would you like this for uh, this to be your fucking job, guys? All day long. Look at all this. Bam. A lot of fucking meat up in here, huh? Definitely, definitely digging a waka, man. This is uh. So 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 like so far, I've been to Monterrey. I've been to all over Mexico City now, Puebla, and now I'm in Oaxaca. And I mean, this is this is just scratching the surface of the places that I'm gonna be seeing while I'm here, man. So check it out. We got this uh, Oro de Oaxaca. It's like the gold of Oaxaca. It's like mezcal. Hey, hey, I'm gonna go back up there and just show around, all right? Be right back. Huh? All right. I'm just, I, I was just letting my lady know that uh, I'm just going to show you guys real quick where I just ate. And you have you have people all over here, man, like selling purses, fucking crickets to eat, you know, any any little, any little knickknacks you might want. Check it out. So there's like two big markets here in the center of town. There's one for food and there's one for merchandise and obviously... I'm not at the one for merchandise, I'm at the one for food. Uh, hope, hope they're not, hope they don't mind me filming them, but... I don't, I don't think they'll mind. Look at all these people. All the nice families here. Alright, so, this is where I ate, where you can breathe a little bit better. Let me just show you all what we got over here. So obviously it's, it's like... It's like it's like the local food of Hawaka. This is this is actually where I just ate right here. And I had I had this dish. It's um it's from it's from Hawaka. It's called Tlayuda. Tlayuda. It's basically like a giant piece of it's like this giant um hard bread right here that you that you see right here. And they they layer it with like basically like a bean sauce, lettuce of course, chorizo, beef, pork, uh queso de Oaxaca, which is like almost almost like a string cheese that they have here got a little bread market queso de Oaxaca is one of my favorite cheeses because you, you can actually put that shit on a frying pan with a little bit of oil and melt it into like this cheesy sludge <laughs> and the lady the, the lady just started covering her eyes as soon as I started walking yeah but I'm definitely digging this man check it out so you guys ever come to Mexico man depending on what part this is the way that they eat and you know, like, hopefully you're not claustrophobic or super antisocial to the point where you can't be around people. But nobody really fucks with you. Like, no one's gonna be like trying to chat you up while you're eating, unless you want to chat them up. We got this little girl selling bolsas, no gracias. You know. Another thing about coming to places like this too is like you gotta be strong, man. Like you can't you can't say yes to everybody because you're gonna walk out there with no fucking money. The joke will be on you at that point, man. You know, you 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 just gotta know when to say no. You just gotta know when to say no. And I mean, like, if you don't want it, just say fucking no, dude. Maybe don't use profanity, but I guess over here there's not as many people to see. So my guess is that the, maybe they're closing up, or the food is just sucks over here. I don't really know. Let's walk around back to the action. We got a chocolate chocolate place. We got cacao here. You guys, you guys can see where it says that on Esukav. So it's like cacao chocolate with sugar. It's just a little bit sweeter. That lady selling wooden spoons of some kind. My mom, my mom used to. Every time my mom used to spank me, man, she used to get that wooden spoon out. Got the fried crickets. Throw that there. It's my mom. My mom used to get that wooden spoon out, and she wouldn't get my ass, dude. But she would get right below my ass, like on my hamstring. Check it out, man. 
Got all the good ass pond here. Check it out. Got more bread. Look at this. Bam. Bam. Got that European influence up in here. That's the thing about 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 like being Mexican. And obviously, I'm not Mexican, so I'm not the expert. But 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 to be Mexican is to acknowledge the European and the indigenous Native American influence. Like you can't just acknowledge one or the other. Like to to be Mexican, you have to acknowledge the French, the Italian, the the obviously the Spanish influence, and all of the all of the Native American empires that were here before, you know, before before Whitey came over here. It said it said what's up. All right, so let me walk walk back up here. That guy definitely gets uh, gets his tortillas, huh? Holy shit, dude! Look at that, we got that. Giacome, Giacome. I told her that I already ate, so. Which is true, man. I just stuffed my face, so. Look at these piñatas. They're like, this fucking widow's coming back again with this little gay ass camera, man. For real. Dude, I could not. I could not be in here all day long, dude. I would fucking get lung cancer for sure. Mexico is also the most Catholic country in the world. So you see, you got the Guadalupe everywhere. You guys will, you guys will see me walking around. You'll see all the beautiful cathedrals here, man. It's the most Catholic country in the world. Technically behind Vatican City, but who gives a fuck about Vatican City, right? Hey, what's up, okay? Que tal, que tal? Who gives a fuck about Vatican City, dude? It's the size of my fucking shoe. It's got, it's got like 13 people there. And fuck the Pope too. Yes, said it, man. Fuck the Pope. Check it out. Look at these chili peppers. Aguacates. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And this is what I was telling y'all. Queso de Oaxaca. Quanto cuesta? Noventa. So it's like it's like 90 pesos. I'm gu I'm guessing that's a kilo. Like 90 pesos for a kilo. 90 pesos breaks down to about four dollars fifty cents American. Anyways, y'all, just wanted to show you guys a little food market, and like I say, man, the camera, the camera doesn't do it justice, man. You can't smell what I smell. You can't feel the heat. You can't smell all the meat. You can't, god damn, you can't taste the food. You know. Man, so if you guys want to travel, man, you got to do it. You got to stop watching fucking vloggers on YouTube like me, and like countless others, too. Save up your fucking money, stop making excuses, and do it yourself, man. Hey, and if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you guys want to DM me, say what's up, give me some video ideas, anything like that, man, at Brayton Howard. That's my Instagram handle. Also, if you guys want to shoot me an email for a No Joke Howard video or a B-hole topic, uh, which is my little talk show that I do, the B-hole, you guys want to shoot me a fan question to be read on my talk show, the B-hole, no joke striking at gmail.com. Bitches. All that will be in the description box below. You can all go fuck yourself. Peace.